Our objective for this lesson is to solve logarithmic expressions through change of base. I highly suggest that you watch my video lesson on this topic to fully comprehend today's lesson. What if you are given the logarithm of 256 to the base 2? How are you going to evaluate it? Even if you have a calculator, you cannot simply evaluate this since most of the calculators are limited to compute logarithms with base 10 or base e. This is where change of base comes in handy. It is a technique on how to rewrite a logarithmic expression as a ratio of two logarithmic operations using any valid base. So let a, b, and x be positive real numbers where a is not equal to 1 and b is not equal to 1. So if you are given the logarithm of x to the base b, you can rewrite it in this manner. Notice that x here comes from the argument here, and b here comes from your base here. And a is any number you wish to use for as long as it is a positive real number and it is not equal to 1. Let us evaluate the following. Number 1, the logarithm of 256 to the base 2. So this will become the logarithm of 256 divided by the logarithm of 2. Now, I'm going to express 256 as 2 to the 8th power. And I'm going to choose 2 as my base. Why? So that my x and b will be the same. Since I choose 2 here as my base, I'm going to express this one as a logarithm whose base is also 2. So this will become the logarithm of 2 to the first power to the base 2. Now I have the same bases. Property of logarithm, if your x and b are the same, the answer to this expression is the exponent of your x. So this one is equal to 8. And this one is equal to 1. And 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8. Another one, the logarithm of 256 to the base 4. So this will become the logarithm of 256 divided by the logarithm of 4. This time, I'm going to express 256 as 4 to the 4th power. And I'm going to choose 4 as my base. So I'm going to express my denominator as the logarithm of 4 to the first power to the base 4. So this one is equal to 4 and this one is equal to 1. So 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4. Next one. The logarithm of 256 divided by the logarithm of 8. I want to express 256 as the logarithm of 2 raised to 8 to the base 2 again. And I'm going to express the logarithm of 8 as the logarithm of 2 cubed to the base 2. Isn't it that 2 cubed is 8? Now I have the same bases. So the answer to my numerator is 8. And the answer to my denominator is 3. So I have 8 over 3. Let us have some more. The logarithm of 256 to the base 1 over 16. So this will become the logarithm of 256 divided by the logarithm of 1 over 16. And then I'll express 256 once again as the logarithm of 2 to the 8th power to the base 2 because I want my x and b to be the same. Now 16 is 2 to the 4th power so this will become the logarithm of 1 over 2 to the 4th power to the base 2. Now, if I'm going to bring up 2 to the 4th, my exponent 4 here will become negative. So, the answer here is 8 and the answer to my denominator is negative 4. So, 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. Another one, the logarithm of 256 to the base 1 over 8 will become the logarithm of 256 divided by the logarithm of 1 over 8. So again, 256, I'll express it as the logarithm of 2 to the 8 to the base 2. While 8 here is 2 to the 3rd power. 
So like what we did in number 4, bringing up 2 cubed, it will become 2 raised to negative 3. The answer in my numerator is 8, while in my denominator is negative 3. So I have negative 8 over 3. Another one. The logarithm of 1 over 16 divided by the logarithm of 64. Now, 1 over 16 is the same as here, so it is the logarithm of 2 raised to negative 4 to the base 2. While 64 is 2 to the 6th power. So the logarithm of 2 to the 6th to the base 2. The answer in my numerator is negative 4, while in my denominator is 6. Lowest term, this is negative 2 over 3. Next one, the logarithm of 64 to the base 1 fourth. So this will become the logarithm of 64 divided by the logarithm of 1 fourth. Since I can see 4 here, I'm going to express this time 64 as 4 cubed to the base 4. So my x and b are is still the same. And then I'm going to bring up 4 so the exponent will become negative 1. The answer in my numerator is 3. The answer in my denominator is negative 1. And 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3. Another one, the logarithm of 1 over is square root of 8 to the base 4. So this will become the logarithm of 1 over square root of 8 divided by the logarithm of 4. A square root of 8 is 8 raised to 1 half. Then 8 is 2 cubed. So I'm going to express it as 2 cubed. Multiplying 3 and 1 half, this will give me 3 over 2. 2 raised to 3 over 2. And then I'm going to bring up 2 raised to 3 over 2. So the exponent will become negative. And then I'm going to express 4 as 2 squared. So the logarithm of 2 squared to the base 2. X and B are the same. The answer in my numerator is negative 3 over 2. The answer in my denominator is 2. The denominator of 2 here is 1. 2 divided by 1, the reciprocal of that is 1 half. And I'm going to multiply that to my numerator. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 2 is 4. Negative times positive is negative. So negative 3 over 4. Let us continue. The logarithm of 7 to the base 5. So this will become the logarithm of 7 divided by the logarithm of 5. Since there is no way you can express this as a power having the same x and b, then you really have to make use of a calculator. So you just have to press log of 7 divided by log of 5. And the answer there is 1.2091. Another one, so this will be the logarithm of 15 divided by the logarithm of 2. And the answer here is 3.9069. Next one, the logarithm of 16 to the base 3 is the logarithm of 16 over the logarithm of 3. And this is equal to 2.5237. Last one, the logarithm of 15 to the base 5 will become the logarithm of 15 divided by the logarithm of 5. Using a calculator, this will give you 1.6826. In all of these cases, our base here is 10. These are common logarithms. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. So this will become the logarithm of 16 divided by the logarithm of 2. Since there is 2 here, I'm going to express 16 as the logarithm of 2 to the 4th to the base 2. And 2 is 2 to the 1st power to the base 2. The answer here is 4. The answer here is 1. So I have 4 divided by 1 equals 4. This one will become the logarithm of 9 over the logarithm of 1 over 27. I'll express 9 as 3 squared to the base 3. And 27 is 3 cubed. Bringing this up, this will make the exponent negative. The answer here is 2. In my denominator, the answer is negative 3. So I have negative 2 over 3.
Number 3, this will become the logarithm of 1 over 32 divided by the logarithm of 0.5. I'll express 0.5 as 1 half. Since I have 2 here, I'm going to express 32 as 2 to the fifth power. And then bringing up 2 to the fifth, that will make the exponent negative. Bringing 2 up, that will make the exponent negative as well. So 2 raised to negative 5 to the base 2 for 1 over 32. And 2 raised to negative 1 to the base 2 for 1 half. Answer in numerator is negative 5. Answer in the denominator is negative 1. Negative 5 divided by negative 1 is positive 5. Gets?